Hello, my name is Dr. Nakamura, part of the healthcare team that is taking care of you. Before I begin, can I have your full name and date of birth, please? Hello, my name is Munenori Kanamori. My date of birth is January 14th, 1966. How would you like me to address you? You can call me Mr. Kanamori. All right, Mr. Kanamori, what brought you in today? Oh, doctor, I threw up and I'm feeling terribly sick. Oh, that's concerning. Can you tell me more about what happened? Oh, I've been vomiting since this evening. I would say since just like about five hours ago. How many times? Uh, three times. Did you see the vomitus? Yeah, doctor. How much did you vomit? Oh, a lot. Uh, I'd say about like half a bucket in total, I guess. What color were those? Oh, initially it was like clean, like maybe some digested food, but later it has become more and more greenish. Did you see blood in them? No. What time did you have your last meal? Uh, like 10 hours ago for lunch. Any trouble eating? Yeah, I was able to have lunch without any problems 10 hours ago. But after I vomited, I didn't feel like eating at all. Did you drink after you vomited? <laughs> yeah, sips of water. I was scared that I would get dehydrated after vomiting. Is that right, doctor? Yes, it might be. But in some cases like yours, it's not always a great idea to drink too much while you cannot. If you're okay, I'd be glad if you let me finish the evaluation of your current condition and answer the question again. Sure, doctor. Do you feel bloated? Oh, yes, I do. Since when? Uh, since the same time I first vomited. Do you pass gas after all that happened? No, I didn't. Do you have any tummy pain? A little, around my navel since the vomiting. How do you describe the pain? Is it achy, crampy, or colicky? Uh, I'd say it's like crampy. Is it constant or does it come and go? Uh, it's constant. Is it getting better or worse? Uh, it's about the same. Are you constipated? If yes, when was your last bowel movement? Uh, I don't think so. I had a bowel movement just this morning. And anything unusual in stool? No, but it's a little softer than usual, I think. Just to be sure, do you feel nauseated all along? Yeah, doctor. Since when? Uh, since just a few minutes before I threw up. Is it constant or does it come and go? Mm, it's constant. What makes it better? Mm, sorry, I'm not so sure, doctor. There's no problem, Mr. Kunamari. Is it getting better or worse? Uh, worse. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? No, as far as I know. Did you feel dizzy or felt the room was spinning around you when you vomited? No, none of those happened. Any headache? No. Any weakness on your limbs or face? No. Nope. Any trouble speaking? No. Nope. Just pain? No. Nope. Did you feel your heart beating very fast? Not exactly very fast, but I think it's beating a little faster than usual. Shortness of breath? Uh, a little. Any fever recently? Mm, not that I know of. Did you eat anything unusual lately? Mm, I don't think so. Any trouble urinating? Nope. Any change in your weight recently? Mm, I'm not pretty sure. All right, Mr. Kanamari. I'm going to ask you about your health in general. Have you ever had any medical issues in the past? Mm, uh, I have high blood pressure. Are you on any medications for that? Uh, no, doctor. Any other medical issues or medications? Nope. Have you ever had any surgeries before? Yeah, I had some part of my intestine removed last year. <clears throat> I think my intestine ruptured or something. However, I don't remember exactly what happened after I got admitted because I felt terribly sick and I was pretty much unconscious back then. Do you remember why you were admitted in the first place? Yeah, the doctor said it was like diverticulitis or something. Yeah, and then uh, they told me that I ruptured after the admission and I was immediately sent off to the operating theater. That must have been a really hard experience for you, Mr. Kanmari. Yeah, I certainly was. Any disease uh, that runs in your family? 
Yeah, both my parents have high blood pressure as well. In order to treat you properly, I'd like to ask you about uh, social habits. Do you smoke? Yeah. How many cigarettes do you smoke per day? Uh, like 20. I see. For how many years? For 40 years, I guess. Do you drink alcohol? Uh, only on weekends. How much do you drink? Uh, just one or two drinks each weekend. Have you traveled out of the country recently? Uh, no. What do you work as, Mr. Namari? Uh, I'm an architect. I see. Based on our conversation, the very first thing we need to investigate for and rule out is bowel of extraction, which is blockage of your intestine. Major surgery like you had last year, sometimes for span issue that blocks food or liquid from passing through your intestine. Without any treatment, your intestine can possibly die. We need to do some blood tests, abdominal x-ray, and a CT scan. After the diagnosis is confirmed, we like to place some plastic tube through your nose down to your stomach that removes fluids and gas to relieve the pain and pressure. Is that okay with you? Yes, please, doctor. And for now, uh, you have to temporarily stop drinking or eating to protect your stomach. Any questions for me? Uh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you, doctor.